What's up guys, Double Fusion here, back at it again, and today we're gonna take a look at the Studio Series. Sorry guys, I meant the Studio Series, ha ha ha, Bumblebee, Transformers Rise of the Beast, Bumblebee. Um, for a deluxe class, I mean... I think yeah it's a deluxe class yeah this figure is pretty good I'd probably go as far as to say it's probably the best bumblebee figure that we've ever gotten bringing him in for a closer look oh this 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 no why he's not focusing but yeah taking a closer look at his face sculpt as you can see some detail right now this isn't the redo paint sculpt one this is the First one, and I'm glad I got this one. Now the rare, like this paint skull, because I feel like these are running out very fast, so I'm guessing this version would now be a rare one. <laughs> so, I mean, technically a rare figure, eh? even though it's new. Yeah, all around. Nice detailing. You got. That, which is actually pretty accurate to the movie. I went and go to go see the movie. And also, something that you basically don't even see in vehicle mode, because, you know, it's underneath the car. Like, you only pretty much get to see it during transformation. Some actual, like, vent detailings, which I like. Yeah. Nice side legs. Like, nice gun model paint paints. Yeah. And also, to be honest, I'm kind of fine with the f face sculpt, as long as I have a Rise of the Beast Bumblebee, but yeah. They even got, like, the size of legs good. Ooh. And that wasn't really super, a and that's not really super accurate, but hey, it's a transformable figure. <clears throat> Neo Lab. <clears throat> yeah. And it has a pretty nice clean backpack, too. Now, for articulation, he does have a ball joint at the hand, gets a little bit of a wiggle, wiggle waggle. He can look up that far, he can look down that far, his head can go the full 360. Okay. Right, arms are on a ball joint, so they can go out that far, they can go the full 360 if the arm, um, you know, yeah, this doesn't get in the way. Also, due to transformation, <laughs> you can you can do that. So I guess if you want to like just have it down a bit to do like a shrug, I guess. Um, sadly, actually no, never mind. I don't know why I'm saying sadly. I'm I'm forgetting stuff. He does have a bicep rotation, ninety degrees of elbow bend there. He does have waist rotation. His legs can kick up to about that far. His legs can kick back to about that far with the backpack. His legs can kick out <laughs> if you don't. On my copy, the ball joint likes to pop off, but yeah, they can kick out to that far. The knees, 90 degree there at the knees. Now, I really like these ankles. You got that bend. You got that bend. You can rotate the foot. Sadly, though, there's no pivot. But there is ankle tilt. Bitch. And while you cannot do the full splits, you can do this. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh. 
also now for comparison the model kit I did now I did make them uh, like a custom Rise of the Beast themed chest plate so I thought that this would kind of like be perfect <laughs> it's like fodder and some <laughs> Here is how he stands with the mainline wheel jack, or as we know him, Pablo. Yeah, pretty nice scaling, pretty nice scaling. Here he is with the Studio Series Core Class RC. That way you can get a scaling, yeah. If I were to ever watch my videos, yeah. That'd be insane. I hope. I hope at least, like, the Alfonso Nation watches my... Like, one of my videos. That'd be cool. But yeah. Accurate sizing, so... Accurate scaling, so yeah, I get why they do this, but... She could have been, like, a short deluxe. You know? Because I don't really think she was that short in the movie, but... Eh. Hey. If it works, it works. Here he is with the mainline Optimus Prime. And... Oh. And... Gonna have to raise it up a bit. Yeah. Even with the mainline, he's got well. <laughs> so, yeah. Even with the mainline, he scales well. Then, bringing it back down, is practically shown within the poster. <laughs> Nightbird was shown racing against her. But yeah, here he is with Nightbird. I mean, he is a bit shorter, which makes sense. You know, yeah, he is a short bot, but yeah. Overall, pretty nice. That this figure comes with, he comes with an arm blade, but I kind of put that off to the side because the blade broke on mine a little bit. Plus, it's somewhere else right now, so I'm not really wanting to go look for it. But yeah, but he does have his accurately sculpted arm cannon. Like early sculpted arm cannon. So, yeah. Pretty nice. And uh, fits in his hand. Because it's a coast. Goes into a port, which is the hand. Bam. And, yeah, very nice. So he can blast down those decept chops. Or tercons, if you will. Hmm. Alright. Now... Or <laughs> ignore that. Now for transformers. You're gonna wanna do that. Then what I seem is what I find easier to do is to have the arms out like this and rotate them to where this part is facing forward to where the like outside of the arm is facing forwards just like this and then if you want to you can untab the chest so like I untab the chest but transform it however you wish so you're gonna open up this part of the leg, rotate the foot, and rotate this part of the back heel. Because, trust me, you're going to want to do that otherwise. Yeah. Because you're... Yeah. And then, you're going to take this on its double hinge. First hinge, move it up. And then on this hinge, you're going to move it back. So move on this hinge right here, 
you're gonna move it up and as you're doing that you're gonna move the hinge that's used for the ankles in until you hear that soft click like two clicks it might be two clicks and then do the same thing on the other side And then here is where you're going to want to tab your legs in together. And then, since you already have this untabbed, or if you want to untab it now, you can. So basically, now you're going to want to flip out this entire backpack area in a completely, you know, unfold it, straighten it out, and stuff. And then you're going to slide this entire section up, I guess. Yeah, it'd be up. So yeah, you're gonna slide this entire section up. Make sure that like nothing's in the way. And then you're going to flip the arms down. And then before you do anything with like the wheels or the arms or the, or the doors, you're going to want to, these are like on nice ratchets, which I like, but yeah, you're not just going to have it straight, you're actually going to put it down one more than that, leaving enough clearance <coughs> to tab in the front hood. And as you're doing that, these two tabs, these two tabs are actually going to go and sit under here as this tab is going to go under here. Now, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be two of these tabs on, you know, two of these little tabs on your copy. If there isn't, it's the same thing with me. On my copy, I only got one tab, but I think it works just as well. You're just going to have that. And then you can close the doors and and when you close the doors these little tabs are going to go into that little slot on the thigh locking it in and then you're going to close the front wheels and then now that you have these ready these little tabs right here to a little slot right there tab it in and as those are tabbing and as these this tab is tabbing into that slot there's a little there's a little notch right there with a tab with a little tab right there to go inside of that little notch so first you're going to have this you know locked into place then you're just going to move it a bit to you know that tab goes in it might make a clicky sound it might not it might just soft click into place but yeah once you see that it's there like that and that means it's transformed and it has a nice roll and it has a nice roll oh wait okay now for vehicle mode storage and comparison for so yeah, the blaster, there's a little slot in there, two tabs underneath the blaster, and it'll tab on right like that. Not like this, it's actually meant to go like this, because it not only sits better, it's actually meant to go like that. And if you look in the instructions, yes, that is how it's supposed to go. And if I didn't have to fix my arm blade, I don't know why I haven't done it yet, but once I do, yeah. Cause yeah, but this is the weapon storage for vehicle mode. You tab it. There's a tab on the sword, and then you plug it in here. Sorry, I don't have the sword, the like arm blade sword thing to go and like show you to like how to tab it onto his feet in car mode, basically. How to tab it underneath the car. But yeah, I mean the cannon is. Eh. Like not really showing a vehicle mode and it wouldn't hinder the rolling but that would require the arm blade 
and I still need it to fix that, but for now, storage on this is going to be like this. Now, for comparison, here we have Pablo, and I mean mainline Pablo, oh. here we have mainline Pablo, I mean he is a small van, and I mean like, I guess this would be accurate scaling, but once we get the studio series, I don't think I'll be getting rid of this one, because you know, I still want to keep some of the main lines, because you know, yeah. Yeah, I feel like if Hasbro were to just, like, upscale this, add in a couple more things, you know? Then yeah, just add in a couple, a little bit more things, and just, like, upscale it a bit more. Like, ooh, and then... Basically, like, this is like this, compared to, you know, the car. Like, it's compared like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's this comparison for him. Here is B with his I think it's Wavemate, I'm not sure, but here he is with the Studio Series Core Class. He does not like the stand. Or then I keep all my characters in the bin, so <laughs> So I guess that's what helped her to stand. Side profile. Yeah. Here he is compared with Nightbird. Ooh. Ah. Uh -huh. um. And here he is with the one, the only, mainline Optimus Prime. And now since the Studio Series is actually a bit larger than this guy, so I feel like this would scale well, way better than the Studio Series, you know, yeah. But I feel like pretty nice with the, um, mainline, yeah. For now I have these guys displayed together, so, yeah. It works, it works. But yeah. And that's that's it on my review for the studio series Rise of the Transformers Rise of the Beast Bumblebee. Now I do still have some things to say, so yeah. I do kind of wish because um well, yes, I love this alt mode Hasbro. Yes, I love it. You know, I love this figure. But I do feel like Hasbro could possibly retool this a bit, like make the wheels a bit like shorter. But get rid of the like barbell things. Get rid of that. And yeah, get rid of the off road stuff. Kind of redeco this a bit and kind of remold the back of the foot a bit. Like, use the same mold, but just, like, shorten the wheels and change, get rid of the off-roadness for the front bumper and the windshield. And, you know, kind of remold this a little bit. Then we'd have, like, you know, kind of a perfect, you know, regular 1977 Camaro. You know? Because I feel like, like, I would buy that. And also, on my copy, I had to glue this in because I found it a bit too loose. If you like your figure to where it's like you could remove it, a that's fine with me. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I said that's fine with me. <laughs> Anyways, like, a, it's like, it's your figure. Like MGO says, is it's your figure. Just play how you wish, right? Play with it how you wish. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you can also remove this, but I would not recommend it. But I feel like it would take a bit of work to remove this, so yeah, I would not recommend it. But yeah, this, I had to, you know, glue it in, but eh. In my opinion, it's still a pretty good figure, so. With that being said, it, 
If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like. Ha <laughs> And if you want to see more, subscribe and turn on post notifications to let you know whenever I upload. And also try commenting something down. Give me some feedback, you know? I need more of that. <laughs> and with all that being said, so all or one, hey, subscribe and...